Hi, Kylie here, just another army vet. Today I'm reacting to The Last of the Headhunters, Cognacs of Nagaland by the channel Savvy You. I don't know anything about these guys except that they're located somewhere in northeast India, I believe, close to Assam and Myanmar. I believe the Cognacs are a tribe name. If I'm wrong, then please drop that in the comments. Let's get to it. <laughs> His name is Pankow. Pankow. I mean, 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 I in remoter regions, the headhunters' trophies swung over the houses, proclaiming the strength and the fertility of the people. I guess that's the hair, also. After Indian independence, the Nagas demanded their freedom. In the years of unrest and rebellion that followed, the Indian government built jeep tracks for the army, and in 1963, Nagaland was made an independent state in the Indian Union. Some Nagas carried on fighting for complete independence without success. It's beautiful. I wonder how old that village is. This reminds me of Vietnam almost. Mm. Mm. So one thing I want to point out is that tattoos is one of those cultural practices that have been going on for hundreds or thousands of years all over the world. Every culture might have their own reasons and techniques of tattooing, but it's just one thing that we all have in common. <laughs> Naga. What does Naga mean? And what language do they speak? Ali, Angalang Pumaya, don't want you. They must have had a machete or something like that. Logan gun, arrow, spear. Mm. Dao. Dao. Uh, what is Dao? Dao, uh, like knife, big. This one here? Yes, yes. This, this one. Yes. Like this. Yes. Okay. After they kill them, yeah. yes. they use this. Cut, cut by the head. In Longwa, mm -hmm. so many land. Right. We are the Wari village. So we have so many. Um, under the Longwa chief king, 32 villages. 32. 32 villages. The old man can remember from which village each head was captured. Powerful forces cling to these skulls. They're fed with rice beer so their spirit revisits the village, giving the people strength and fertility. When the heads were brought back in triumph, there was a victory dance. The men would boast of being as fierce as tigers, as mighty as the clouds that thunder 
and hurl down fireballs. Capturing a head gave a man prestige. It proved his virility. And after the dancing Tattoos. came the tattooing. Body tattoos meant he'd been present on a raid, while one on his neck and face meant he'd actually cut off a head. Are those wild boar horns that he's wearing in his ears and in that necklace? Maybe. Yeah, again, this reminds me of like Vietnam or Cambodia even. A church? Christian? So this is the last thing I expected to see in this video was a church. It's Christian, obviously, but is it Protestant, Catholic? I have no idea. Uh, I'm assuming that missionaries came to Nagaland, or how did this happen? I mean, are there any Hindus or Sikhs or other religions that are in Nagaland or just Christianity? If someone wants to drop that in the comments, I would appreciate it. Beautiful. Hello. That's good. <laughs> the little girls are always carrying the youngest with them. Oh, that's so cute. Looks comfy. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so cute. I imagine there's not a lot of modern amenities. I'm not sure about plumbing, electricity, internet. It does not look like there's a lot. That's a good point. The road was dangerous back then or now? I guess he's talking about back then. How long has this piece been going on for? All 
all the vanity of the Nagas is expressed in their full ceremonial dress. It was never worn in battle, only at the victory dance afterwards. Yeah, it is good. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is the traditional dress? It is... Uh, <laughs> beautiful colors. Dress. And and much only our traditional dresses. So during festival time, we used to wear okay. at that. Wow. <laughs> Boar tusks. <laughs> wild pig. Wild pig. Uh, wild pig. Yeah. Yeah. And it is a bear, bear. bear. and tiger. Mm -hmm. Did you say tiger? <laughs> The tigers in Nagaland? Ooh. Wow. The bracelets and necklaces are their wealth. The tusks and teeth on their headdresses represent boar and tigers killed, while the brass heads show how many men they've killed. Is that their hair? Today, nobody can boast of his tiger-like fierceness or carry his enemy's head on his spear. It's just dressing up. The Indian government encourages them to keep the picturesque parts of their culture. The Nagas have learned to enjoy security. The days of glory are gone and few want them to return. Is this how every village is in Nagaland, or some are more developed with modern amenities? So, wow. I thought this was a really good video on the Naga people. I knew nothing about them. So I definitely want to get online and find some more videos that I can react to. If that sounds like something you'd want to watch, then please drop it in the comments. But these people, they remind me of some tribes that you'd find in the Amazon rainforest. They seem to be very family oriented and I love the fact that they are preserving their traditions. Anyway, this was a great video and I can't wait to learn more about these guys. Before you head out, maybe check out this video on Hinduism. Thanks for watching.